You're ready. So today we're making bannock. And what do we got here? Okay, so today we're going to make some bannock. And um, bannock is made from flour. There's two and a half cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, mm -hmm. half a cup of salt, uh, half a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of baking powder, uh, and three tablespoons of oil, and a cup of water. What kind of oil are you using? I use vegetable oil just because it's better at handling higher heat. Like uh, uh, olive oil or other oils, they have a lower burning point. Mm -hmm. And because we're working with a fire, it's kind of volatile. We can't control the heat as much as we would like. So using uh, vegetable oil is better for when you're cooking recipes on a fire. Cool. Bannock is uh, a recipe that's made throughout North a America. Um, actually came from Scottish fur traders who brought the recipe over with them. And because it's it's cook it's spread so widely, it's very uh, integral part of most traditional cooking. Um, so, for example, the Native Americans uh, used all sorts of things to to make this recipe, from acorn flour to light uh, lichens <laughs> 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 to lichen to moss and even cattail pollen can be used to make this recipe. Now, if you are packing this in, it's a really great recipe to take if you're going on a longer hike um, and you don't, and space and weight is an issue. What I usually do is I take all the dry ingredients and I just mix them at home and put them in a Ziploc bag. So you can just flatten it out and you can put that in your pack. So here is our two and a half cups of flour. Into that we're going to add a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of salt, uh, and uh, I keep saying cup. Okay. You meant? I meant teaspoons. No problem. Two <laughs> teaspoons of <laughs> baking powder. And so if you don't want to use the baking powder, you can just use self-raising flour, then you don't have to add that. And into that we're going to put three tablespoons of oil and one cup of water. Now I usually add the water gradually because if you don't have extra flour you want to be able to make sure you've got the consistency right because if you put too much water in then you'll have, your dough will be too sticky. If you're going to make your bannock on the first or second day of your trip you can actually mix the dough at home and take the dough instead if that's easier for you. Um, so I, I use unbleached flour, but you can use any kind of flour, even if you're gluten intolerant, you can use rice flour. Mm -hmm. um, is there any particular flour that's better than another, or does it, it doesn't really matter? It doesn't really matter. It's a very okay. versatile and simple recipe, so okay. you, can, um, you can use whatever suits you. And like I say, if you don't want to put the baking powder in, uh -huh. you can use self-raising flour, then you would just add a uh, half a teaspoon of salt <laughs> and half a teaspoon of sugar. As opposed to? Uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, which I put in this. I see, okay. Um, so I'm just cleaning off the end of this stick because we're going to cook some of our bannock on a stick, nice. which is the traditional method of doing it. And it would mean that you wouldn't need to carry a pot or a pan to cook pan. it. Pan, awesome. Mm -hmm. So you just take a bit of your dough. Right, and you just sort of make it flat. Because if it's too thick, it won't bake in the middle before it's burned on the outside. It won't so cook through, right. Yeah, you want to make it a little thinner. And you can use your water bottle to as a rolling pin if, ah. you wanna, 
if you have a flat surface to work on, uh, you could use the uh, Ziploc bag. And then you just wrap it around your stick. And you just keep rotating it until it's nice and brown on the outside and cooked through. What are we going to do now? Alright, this is a little more adventurous. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is we're going to cook this bannock right on the fire. Uh, so right on the coals? Right on the coals. Wow. And, and the reason we're doing this is because A, it's faster, <laughs> and B, you get this nice kind of flatbread, so you can use it for tacos or burrito or as a vehicle for just about anything. <laughs> um, I learned this. Uh, from the Bedouins in Oman who make it and then put their lamb stew on it. Oh, Goat wow. stew is really good. Right, now you need um, to be either very fast and don't burn yourself. Um, I'm going to use tongs because you need to be able to flip it, right? Straight on there. That's so cool, right on the fire, right around the coals. Yeah, and it's uh, it's just, it makes it easier to cook because you don't need any pots or pans. So right. if you're hiking in and you, uh, you know, weight is an issue, this is a, is a great option for people who have space or weight issues and don't want to take cooking implements. Mm -hmm. Look at that. There we go. Now you can see it's starting to puff up now. Yeah. Uh, because the baking powder is working, obviously, and giving you a nice soft and fluffy turn here. Here you go. Look at that. Coming on nicely. I MacGyvered that nicely. Yeah. Look at that. It's perfectly made for that. <laughs> yeah, I planned it like that. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that! Wow. Look at that great, great piece of lovely bread. We can now... We can now use this as a vehicle for whatever food we want to put on it. Yeah. There, let me have a taste of that. That was good. Yeah, I know, eh? Mm -hmm. It's a great trick. I love doing that trick when I go camping with people. Especially when you do it with your fingers. You look very hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> I like to make these uh, and then just fry up some taco mints. And oh man, campfire tacos. Mm. The best. Uh, they make great breakfast burritos too. It's just so handy because as long as you have these dry ingredients, mm -hmm very simple to make yeah and because you can make bannock so many different ways if you're going on a really long hike and weight and, and space is an issue every day you can cook it differently and enjoy it in a different way right so you never get tired of it even if you have the even though you're eating the same thing for five hmm. or six days you're The first time I ever had bannock, I had it cooked this way. Yeah. In the kitchen of the First First Nations lady, who was, uh, was very kindly made me this and very strong coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the last way we're going to cook bannock today is as a dessert. And what we do here is exactly the same dough. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to fry it up in some oil. Um, and then we're gonna put some sugar and cinnamon on the top of it. Now, you can put any other sweet thing on. You can make a New York cheesecake one, so it's cream cheese and jam. Uh, but you, yeah, jam, syrup, any maple syrup, anything else you want to put on there to make it sweet mm -hmm. makes it really good. Smoke much? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Longer 
her a little bit browner. And, and of course, you don't have to have this cast iron pan. You can just cook it in your, your camping pot or your camping frying pan. Right. Yeah, because you're carrying around a cast iron pan yeah. probably would be pretty heavy <laughs> in, in the backwoods. Yeah. Look at that. All right, oh, that's yeah. what you're looking for. Yeah. Look at the color of that. Okay. My daughter will watch. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that's what you want. Now, how we can finish this off is we're just going to um, put some. This is a mixture of cinnamon and sugar. So I'm just gonna, you know, put, sprinkle that over the top, and then you have campfire donut. <laughs> cool. You gotta try one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can get that crispy one. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. It's so good. Mm hmm. So. Like a donut. It's like a donut, right? Mmm. 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 Mm. I really feel your fun. <laughs> <laughs>